Hello everyone, welcome to the Freestyle. I'm Scott. And I'm Cliff. And this week we uh, finally got to see a comedy movie for this year. Really enjoyed Hot Tub Time Machine 1, Hot Tub Time Machine 2. Alright, that's good. That's the tagline. Not Your Grandma's Time Travel Movie. Tagline to Hot Tub Time Machine 2. Directed by Steve Pink. Starring Rob Corddry, Craig Robinson, and Clark Duke. Clark Duke. Who the f oh, that's that guy's name. That's his name, Clark Duke. <laughs> Alright, and the plot of this movie is pretty much after wreaking the benefits of the first movie going back in time. Someone kind of feeling bad. Someone kind of not feeling bad. Uh, Lou gets shot in the dick with a shotgun, just like he's always been talking about. And they gotta go to the past, I mean the future, to solve this mystery. <laughs> yeah, from the past. It doesn't make a lot of sense, but they explain it pretty well. Yeah, so then the, the future's the past now, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out. Or prepare yourself. Alright, so this is the part where we're going to talk about things that we liked and didn't like in the movie. And for me, um, likes, it's funny. You know, obviously it's supposed to be. Uh, there's lots of dick jokes, which I can always appreciate a good dick joke. Especially the big ones. Um, as far as dislikes, it's not as funny as the first one. It's really hard to do that, especially with comedies, to like hit gold twice in a row. But, um, and also there's no John Cusack. Which I assume John Cusack was just an asshole and was, you know, doing John Cusack shit. But apparently they didn't even approach him about it, so... I don't know what's going on, Steve Pink, but you're fucking up. Yeah. Don't go behind Cusack's back right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and for me, for like some, um, you know, I thought it was pretty good. There were like moments where I definitely like laughed and whatnot and didn't like have a bad time. But, uh, it, def like, it definitely makes me, like, appreciate the first one a lot more. Yeah. Like, thinking back on it now, just, like, I felt like they went to, like, more of an effort and stuff like that. Like, gags, like, the guy with the arm getting... Like, oh, yeah. Like, there's, the like, there's nothing up. like that where you're, like, going up throughout the whole movie. Yeah, where there's, like, a funny joke that you can just talk about. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, you know... But there is funny jokes. Yeah. Somebody gets raped. Yeah. Alright, so this is the part where we're going to try and rate this thing. We're doing it one through five around here. Um, I'm going to give it a three. It's not bad by any means, but it's not, like, comparing it especially to the first one, it's not as good. But it's a fun time, especially if you can catch it during the day. Like, you'll definitely enjoy yourself. You know, maybe if you a little before. Yep. Uh, me, I'm going to give it a two. Uh, I was going to give it a three, but I talked myself down to a two after thinking about the first one and whatnot. I feel like if, if Hot Top Time Machine could try, Hot Top Time Machine 2 could try. Come on. Here. Yeah. Hot Top Time Machine 1, just the whole thing was a better experience. But, um, yeah, other than that, I guess it's going to do it for our review this week. Uh, we're planning on going to see Focus next week. Will Smith's going to teach us how to steal shit, so that should be cool. Um, you know, click stuff, say stuff, other stuff. And I'm Scott. And I'm Cliff. And also have a good weekend.